today on Divorce Court. I'm at Divorce Court because I have many issues with my man. First and foremost, he is extremely cheap. There is nothing wrong with saving money. When we go to the mall, he will not buy not even a can of soda. I'm the only one providing in the house. I have to look for the ways to save money. He's very controlling, domineering, in the sense that he has to have the last word for almost everything. When she get mad, she get red on her face. She just... I want to just to tell Adolfo to be more open-minded. I want to just tell Diana that she need to get a job. If not, I'm out the door. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Diana Valverde and Adolfo Diaz. The two of you have been together for 13 years, living together for 10. You are in a great deal of trouble now, so I'm going to start with you, Ms. Valverde. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your uh, relationship and why you're here in divorce court today? The biggest issue I have is that he's extremely cheap, ridiculously cheap. I'll give you one, ex I'll give you one example. One example is that, okay, we have a 7-year-old daughter. Him and I, him, my daughter and I, will go to the mall usually every weekend. So it's, it's sometimes it's even a big problem for him to buy us even a, a bottle of water or, or soda if we're thirsty, because if we're thirsty, he'll just send us to the water fountain. Do you send him to he'll the water? He won't buy w w bottled water? I usually go ready with, uh, with, with drinks. If I had to get a water, it, there is plenty of water in the water fountain and uh, when you go to a restaurant. <laughs> Well, that doesn't sound too cheap to me. Give me another example of how cheap he is. Okay, for example, usually when we go out to eat, it always has to be a one grilled chicken, the grilled chicken restaurant, only because when you buy at that grilled chicken restaurant, at the re and in the receipt, there is a website where you can fill out a survey, and for filling out a survey, you get a quarter chicken free. Uh -huh. So he will only take, take he will only take us out to that to that chicken, chicken place because he wants a coupon because he for has a free. coupon for a free quarter chicken. I gotcha. Is that true? Well, it is true because uh, there is and a lot. <laughs> let him finish. There is a lot of restaurant that today they give you to you. Uh, you do the survey and you get the special to buy one and get one free. If they do it, it's because they want us to go and buy it from them. They do it because that it. is a risk. I got it. Now, Ms. Valverde, tell me about the lemons. That's what I was interested in. That's lemons. In. He will not even use deodorant or a bar of soap or anything. He will bathe himself only in lemons. Only in lemons. He will use it for, for as a body wash, as a deodorant, for everything. Do you use lemons at body wash? Okay, I, I'm going to explain you. I, I do use my um, the, the deodorant, and I use to wash with the soap. Of course, the lemon helped me. Why? Because when I do the bag with the lemon, it take me out, everything, clean my body so I feel better. I use shampoo and I use conditioner and I use things as normal. But so you, the lemons are just additional. The lemon is additional because sometimes you smell a little bit bad, so you use the lemon to, to fill up, so... To fluff to, it up, yeah, yeah get it in, together. In, in, around my body. Okay. I'm used to having my own, my own body lotion, my own body wash, and he wants me to adapt to his habits. He wants me to do the same, so we don't have to spend money on, uh, on body wash and on, and, on, and on soaps or anything like that. She deodorant. can't have her own soap. She want to, yes. One time we were shopping. Uh -huh. We were shopping. And then I was buying a body wash, and then I was body, uh, body wash, body lotion. I was, bu I was buying a, a soap for this dish soap to wash dishes, mm. and he will, he will ask me, why do you need all, all these products? And then, for, and, and I have to explain to him, like a child, I have to explain to him like a child, look, this is for this, this is for that, and this is for that. Do you believe one sh soap should do it all? Yes, I believe. So the, the shampoo, it has some oils, and also the conditioner. When you use the conditioner, it goes through your body, and then at the end, you feel like it's, you smell great. I'm so me. confused. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what's going on. I'm going to talk to you for a minute, Mr. Diaz. You say that she doesn't do enough to improve herself, that she only works as a, in clinical research, you know, gets studies done on her so she won't have to go to work. Okay. At the beginning, she has, when I met her, at the beginning, she has a real good job working at the hospital. She got her benefits and everything. And then she decided to move to another job. I was very disappointed because she wants to move from job. I told her not to move from job. And then she, she quit from the other job to another, because she wants to work in the morning. Then she quit from the other job to other job. Then I asked her, why are you moving from work? Are you arguing with the people? No, she said that everything is fine, everything is fine. I say, no, you're moving from I, job to job to job to job. I, there is something wrong. And now she doesn't have a job. Now she's working on a clinical research. And now when it's coming to pay the bills, when it's coming to this, there is no money. And I asked her what to do. She doesn't want to work. 
That's not true. Ms. That's... Valverde, what's going on That's with not the true. jobs? Uh, that's not true. A couple of months ago, I was working at, uh, for a medical office, but I had some issues with, with, with some of the staff there, so I decided to resign. Well, I didn't tell him the real problem because he, I also only tell him it's all, it's all fine, it's all fine, because he doesn't even listen in the first place. I can't, mm -hmm. he, I can't count on him to, to, for him to well, listen to me. Let listen. me ask you this. Have you gone from job to job to yes. job? Did I've you... been applying, well, yes. I, well, how come you have so many different jobs? No, I haven't had so many different jobs. Well, I've had maybe... Weren't you working at a hospital one time with great yes. benefits? Yes. What happened to that job? I, I, well, I was working there until our daughter was born. Uh-huh. Until our daughter was born. So you stopped working there. I stopped there. working there. And then what's the next job you got? And then from there, I just, I, I just just started dedicating myself to my daughter, and I just started leaving that job aside. So now that she's so in school... So you're a stay-at-home mom. I was a stay-at-home mom. But now that she's in school, now she's in second grade, now is when I'm starting to try to get back on the workforce. Right. I got you, but you just quit your last job because because I would because I it was a part time job, right? But I, I wasn't I wasn't too I wasn't too happy working with the staff there. I wasn't arguing or anything like that, but we didn't have, we we had a disagreement, so I I decided to resign. You know, I got to say, you say, don't let people you don't like mess with your check. You know what I mean? Don't quit a job unless you have a new one. If it's a little bit uncomfortable, you deal with it until you have another check coming in. You don't leave. Well, I don't like you. Mm -mm. Don't let people you don't like. But I, he doesn't understand check. that it's everything in life. That's how I think. Everything in life is not all about money. It's not all about money in life. If that not, doesn't mean everything in life is all about money. It means you're practical. You know what I mean? You gotta pay I'm bills. with you over there. You gotta pay bills. You have to be responsible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got a husband. You got a kid. You got responsibilities. What so happens if one day I'm not, I'm not providing? So she, ha both, 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 we have to work. Diaz and I are on the same page. So but, far, I haven't seen cheap. Although people have called me cheap, well, I just want to put that well, out there. Well, <laughs> well, for example, my, my, for my daughter, our, my family has given her toys and gifts, and he thinks that's all a waste of money. And if I want to buy her a, a toy, he thinks that's a waste of money. Do you or think toys for clothes, the kids are a waste of money? I buy her toys on Christmas, and I buy her toys but, whenever I can. But whenever she go to the, uh, we go to the market and she want to buy a toy, I told her no. Because if I do that every time, whenever I go with her, then she want to buy a toy. I'm right with you, Mr. Diaz. I'm right with you. Mm -hmm. I, wanna, I wanna move off of this topic now and talk about the extended family and how they have been imposing themselves on your union and the trouble that it's causing. Someone asked her to peel the potato because we're gonna do a potato salad. And then she didn't want to do anything. Once everything, everything was done, guess who was the first one what on the it? table? <laughs> guess who was the first one at the table? Ms. Valverde, you say Mr. Diaz's family is very religious, and they try to impose their beliefs on your household. Tell me well, about that. Well, the issue is that not, not me, but mainly my daughter, because uh -huh. the, because his family is very religious. They're the type of people that will always want to go to church on, early on Sundays, and I don't I don't agree with that because my daughter I don't want my daughter to be waking up every every early Sunday morning just to have to go to church. She has to wake up the whole week the whole for the whole week to go to school. Why can't she have a weekend to for her to rest? But he still wants to take her to church on Sundays. Just just to make his family happy. He knows when, for, from the get-go, from when, we, when he met me, he knows I'm, I'm not a religious person. Is Sorry. there any other religious practices or problems that you have from his extended family? Usually I like to read books about uh, metaphysical and astrology. And now one time I even brought my daughter a book for kids talking about astrology. I like that type of, type of, of topics. He, just because of his religion, he ignorantly thinks right away that that's witchcraft. Okay. Now, Mr. Diaz, do you disapprove of astrology or other kind of spiritual books? I'm disapproved with, the, with, with that part. Yeah, about spiritual things, no, I don't like it. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, dis I'm not agree with that. Okay. Do you say that she's disrespectful to the elders in your family? When it's a elder people, we like to call it Mr. or Miss, not by the name, but she called them by the, the name. The first name. Yeah, by the first name. And I told her, no, 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 no. You, you could call it Miss or Miss, and then you say the name. But she get upset because I'm telling her. And no, that's not I'm, true. Once I'm, I'm, if okay. you don't stop, Mr. Diaz, go ahead. And then, and then she uh, she want to 
she, she want to call the people by the name. I say, don't you look the different of the age that you have with the other person? Don't you see that they don't want to be called just by the name? They want to be called by Miss or Mr.? M M M Ms. Valverde, is that accurate? In a way, it is because first of all, one time I, I used to tell his mother, for example, Miss Miss So and So, but she she told me no, just call me by my name. And then, but before that, my my you know that used to offend me because I'm like, oh, but this this supposedly is this extended family. I don't. Why do I have to address extended family like like if they were total strangers? He says you went to a, a, a family cookout or something and wouldn't peel potatoes, but you were the first one in line to eat. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> It was our daughter's baptism, so we ordered a cake. And aside from that, we, 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 we ordered a catering service. I didn't feel like, uh, I mean, I was, uh, to, to, have to, have to have to cook and cook and cook for, for 20 something people, where you could just go in a more practical way and just buy a just order I, I, a catering I, service. Mr. Diaz, your, your, your view on that? Well, what happened is that that day, everyone was working at the house, uh, cooking, busy, and stuff like that. Someone asked her to peel the potatoes because we're gonna do a potato salad. And then she didn't want to do anything. I had to peel the potato. Once everything, everything was done, guess who was the first one what on the it? table? <laughs> guess who was the first one on the table? And then guess who was this, the first one repeating again? Because she <laughs> loved. And she went back for seconds. She went back to for seconds, and at the end, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Putting the finger like this. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. I want to move on to another topic other than potatoes, and this one is, I understand there is absolutely no intimacy in your home, and I want to know why. Mr. Diaz asked you to sign a prenup. When the prenup came, she just <laughs> She called me over the phone. She said, How would you feel if your partner kept your family on an extremely tight budget? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. Ms. Valverde, you say there's no intimacy in your marriage. I, I mean, I try to make moves on him, for example, but he doesn't respond. Like, for example, for example, a couple of months ago, I, I, I tried to caress his hair, and then right. I tried to caress, uh, you know, my hand tried to caress. I got, yeah, I got it, I got and it. Then, <laughs> but either by that, he wouldn't respond to it. It was like if I was caressing the dead person. He wouldn't respond to that. And then he says he wouldn't, doesn't feel well. I, I get a little light in the loving. She knows I'm, I'm not looking for another woman, but I don't want to feel like a touching because in reality, I'm not happy with the person that is not working, argue, fighting, this and this. And then it came out uh, romantic sentiments mm -hmm. when we have this situation. I don't you're think not, you're, you're not feeling romantic. I understand that the straw that broke the camel's back is that you guys were discussing marriage and Mr. Diaz asked you to sign a prenup because his family members wanted him to. Is that true? I feel that, that that that's the reason, and and I don't want to sign a prenup for 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 various reasons, especially for two reasons. One, I feel three reasons. One, I feel that by doing that, he's siding more with his family than with me. Two, I feel that's a lack of trust. And three, basically, the most important thing is I think that he feels that maybe I'm I, I'm just with him for interest. For money. For money. I gotcha, Mr. Mr. Diaz, your your side of that. When the prenup came, she just she just. <laughs> She got her red face. She called me over the phone. She said, I had to put the phone away. And it's still like 10, 15 minutes, the phone back. Even the phone were jumping like. <laughs> and then she would say, hello, hello, hello. And then, and then I put the phone on my, on my pocket. And then the phone, ding, ding. Then I, when I go to see, like a dish, Test message. <laughs> and then back again, another test message, another test message, like a book. Ooh. Like a book. And I say, hello, look at this. Well, why do you want her to sign a prenup? Not that there's anything wrong with it, I believe in him, but what, what was your reasoning? The reason is because I have been built things with my family, especially with relative family from me. I have built Why things. don't you opt out of it for me? I have built you want him to opt out of family uh, business for you? It, it, 
So that means that the, so that means his, 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 his what he's already built with his family is more important than than my than his relationship with me. No, he, my he just don't want you dipping your fingers in that pile. Should you leave him? Which is rational. And I asked her that we can build our own things, buy houses, and stuff right. like that. Do separate. our separate, but I, not together. That's no. How long ago did part. this conversation happen? But then. This conversation, I don't, I try to avoid the conversation because when this conversation come, uh, she either, if I, I know her face, she's got, it's getting red and she's starting, she step on the door and she don't, I won't get out. So I have to get oh, she, out. She blocks you. I have to get out. When I see her red, I have to get out the door <laughs> before she start because if she step on the door, but then I go to the shower, close the door, I put the shower on or I get into the shower. What? So she stopped, but she's... <laughs> All right, I got it. I think I know what's going on here. Let me tell you what I think. What would you do if your fiancé insisted that you sign a prenuptial agreement? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Ms. Valverde, if the prenup was off the table, would you continue with this relationship and you think it could work? I think that would be one of the, that would, that would be the greatest barriers that would be the Th that's greatest That's the barriers. greatest barrier. Yes. If she were to sign a prenup, do you think this relationship would work? She knows what she had to do. She knows what is the best for her. But if she doesn't, if she doesn't want to improve, if she doesn't want to get, I don't have to tell her what she has to do. She knows. She knows person, and she won't I, do it. But she won't do it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not going to put her, like, I'm putting barrier to her in order to do this. No. I, at this point, I don't feel no love for her. I feel compassion for her mm -hmm. because she's the mother of my daughter. And I feel like if, 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 if there is something that I could help her, I, got I will. I got it. I got it. Ms. Valverde, did you hear him? What he just said? But that's not what he says at home. He's saying that here. What does he say at home? He said he, 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 he's totally different at home. Yeah. He says, oh, I still love, you know, sometimes I ask him, do you still love me? Oh, yes, I still love you. But uh, I, I think he does love you. I don't think he's in love with you anymore. And I think that's the difference there. And Ms. Valverde, I'm sure you're a nice person and I want you to be happy. And I want you to be with somebody that, that can love you the way that you want to be loved. I think Mr. Diaz has been very candid with you about how he feels. And I don't think it's a, a, a romantic situation anymore. He loves you as a person. He loves you as a friend. He loves you as the mother of his child. And, and I think that he's been telling you that. You just don't want to hear it. You with me? You're not. But uh, best of luck to both of you. This matter is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. So how do you move forward now? What happens? I feel that I don't... I just never... Just go back home with him and see what we'll do from there. Wow. You smell lemony fresh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're no longer in love with her. I am not in love with her, yes. What happens now? I think I, I will move little by little. Mm -hmm. I will stay touching, talking with her, but kind of stay away from her. <laughs>